Hi, welcome to the International Space Station gym. How are you guys doing today? My name is Sunny Williams, and I'm living here as part of the Expedition 14 crew up on the International Space Station for about six months. Part of the issue with living in space for six months is we uh, encounter some bone and muscle loss, and so a big part of our day is spent working out about two hours every day to make sure that we can uh, work on our bone and muscle uh, mass. Part of that, I'm, today we're going to show you all the exercise equipment that we have up here and how we work out. What you see right now is I was working on the bicycle, it's called the SEVIS, Cycle Ergometer uh, Vibration Isolation System. You can see it's sort of floating on the wall, that way it doesn't impart too many loads into the space station as we're floating above the Earth 200, 250 miles at 17,500 miles an hour. We don't want to make too much inputs into the station as it's, it's moving so fast. The bicycle all works with a computer, and uh, we're going to show you the computer here that has uh, protocols that we load so we can ride for about 30 to 40 minutes at different weights bearing uh, loads. And like I was talking about, some of the things we encounter are bone and muscle loss. So we muscle not only our muscles like in our legs and our arms, which you think about all the time, but also your internal muscles, the muscles that hold up your organs. For And a good example of that is also your heart, which is a big muscle. So one of the reasons we do this aerobic exercise is to make sure that we exercise our heart and keep it in good shape. So there's other types of exercise that we do also for strength. The next thing we're going to show you is the resistive exercise device. Okay, so we're in the node. We floated over here, and uh, this is the resistive exercise device I was talking about. We call it the RED, and here on working out on it is uh, the commander of the space station right now, Commander uh, Captain Michael Lopez Alegria. So you can see this machine that we're using, uh, it doesn't really have weight on it. It's a uh, system of essentially rubber bands together, tied together or meshed together, and as we increase the number of rubber bands, we increase the res resistance. And we can use this machine to do all sorts of exercises, like uh, LA was showing us a bench press and now a jet lift. You can switch back and forth to work all sorts of muscles on your body. One of the ways to adjust the weights on the machine is increase the cam. There's a number that corresponds to the amount of resistance that's added each time you turn the cam. So now he's added some resistance for the squat exercise. We use this football type harness just to uh, provide a good stable platform for the weight to be centered on your back and your hips correctly. Like Sunny was saying, we have to spend quite a bit of time working out every day for the reasons she stated, both to prevent muscle loss and density and uh, bone density loss. Uh, the cardiovascular stuff, as she mentioned, also uh, obviously helps your heart, but the resistive exercise we found is very important to prevent uh, bone density loss. Uh, we do a lot of lower body exercise, much more than upper body, because on Earth, of course, you spend a lot of your time walking around, but up here on station, you can see my shoes look pretty clean on the bottom because they've never really stepped on anything. And so we need to uh, try to stimulate the muscles and the bone in your spinal column, the things that support your weight on an everyday basis in space, I mean on Earth, that don't get that sort of stimulation in space. So we spend a lot of time uh, doing squats and deadlifts, both straight leg deadlifts, single leg squats, two leg squats. And then the upper body stuff uh, is a little bit up to us. We can do bench press, we can do tricep exercises, bicep exercises, uh, lat pulls. Uh, so we have quite a bit of variation we can do. It's a little bit like the universal machine, only based on rubber bands instead of weights. The physical fitness experts on the ground have the ability to monitor some of the equipment in real time, as well as uh, through files that we download for the SEVIS and the so after the exercise, we can send down data that include the workload, the RPM, and the heart rate that we're developing. We can judge and they can help us uh, monitor our fitness and change our workout as necessary to make it most effective. The last thing we're going to talk about is treadmill vibration isolation system, or TVIS. 
Obviously, you can't walk on a treadmill up there because there'd be nothing holding you down unless you have some kind of a device to hold you to the belt itself. In our case, we use a harness that Sunny's donning now, and it's attached uh, to the deck, which is uh, free-floating from the actual deck of the station uh, by some spring bungee systems. And uh, we can vary the amount of resistance in a number of ways, but the easiest one is to just a number, uh, vary the number of foot that we have included in the stack. Up. So obviously, the more foot, the less um, extended the spring is and the less the resistance. The less foot, of course, the higher the resistance. So Sunny is going to demonstrate now um, one of the uh, workout ways we do. We have an automated uh, solar up top that records all our data, as I mentioned, onto a uh, card that we later send to the ground for download. And she can dial in the speed that she wants to go, and she just hops on. The belt speeds up, and she's away. It takes a little while at first to get used to how this uh, treadmill works, uh, because it is a little picky when it's uh, floating in space like that. But after just a few days, people usually get the hang of it. You can walk on it, run on it. You can also use it in passive mode, where there is no motor for, to drive the belt, but you have to actually walk. It's a little bit more like walking uphill. We typically do that toward the end of the mission when walking is going to become really important for us again after our return to Earth. So one thing we want to leave you with, and uh, we appreciate you coming up, following us along today and working out with us. And uh, working out is a part of our daily lives up here because we need to do it to uh, make sure we'll be able to come back to Earth and uh, be able to walk around without any problems. Likewise, this is this is not only just uh, for only our health, but it's also experiment and research for the future, because if we're going to be sending uh, you guys back to the moon or to Mars, you're going to have to be able to get there and be able to work when you get there and work, walk around and be able to put on a 300-pound spacesuit and be able to walk around and have no problems. So uh, we're just the stepping stones for uh, the work that you guys are going to do in the future. So I hope you join us with our challenge and work out with us while we're up here for the next uh, five or six months. Thank you.